The Palestinian Oktoberfest kicks off with a procession of scouts and Orthodox priests. Revelers from around the world have come to the Christian village of Taiba in the West Bank. The hosts are the Kuri family, founders of Taiba Brewery, the oldest in the Middle East. At their Oktoberfest, they serve 10 varieties of beer. Five of them are special editions created just for the festival. Madis Kuri is the brewer. The special beers are doing very well. They're busy and uh, people are loving them. Madis Kuri's uncle and her father founded Taiba Brewery. It's a family business. They created Oktoberfest in Taiba to help make their beers better known and put their region on the map. The toasts often take a bit longer at the Palestinian Oktoberfest. But just like at the original in Munich, partygoers here spart Bavarian lederhosen and dirndls. But they're still all here for the beer. This one is Palestine Herbal Lager. It's got zata, you know, thyme. It's got, I, I, I feel like it's like walking through the hills here because you have all the smell, the scent of the, uh, the natural herbs. The first time trying the beer, which is really, really good. I would recommend to everyone the IPA. <laughs> That's my favorite. <laughs> they don't have beer tents with long wooden benches, but their beer is pretty good. And their Palestinian herbal essence brew is really special. Entertainment is classic Middle Eastern. This troupe is performing the traditional dabke, a native Levantine folk dance. Madis's father, Nadim Khoury, first came up with the idea for an Oktoberfest in Taiba. I go to Oktoberfest every year to Germany and all over the world, and I wanted to do the same as a Palestinian-style Oktoberfest, not like what you see in Germany. You can see that we have activities for children, we have folklore dance. It will boost the economy uh, of Palestine and put Taiba on the map. Nadim Khoury learned the craft of brewing in the United States. In 1993, when prospects for peace were good, he and his brother returned to the Middle East. At just nine years old, his daughter Madis began learning how to brew beer according to the German purity law. She became the first woman ever to work as a brewer in the Middle East. I still feel like there's some kind of discrimination sometimes, especially with the older generation. Um, they'd rather still work with my dad and my uncle, whereas the younger generation that are opening bars and restaurants and pubs and stuff like that, they would uh, rather work with me. <laughs> so that's kind of changing. <laughs> and on top of that, there is the West Bank's complicated political situation. But even so, the brewery exports to 14 countries, though it sells most of its beers locally. Many tourists come to Taiba, especially for Oktoberfest. Brings people together. It doesn't matter where you're from, what language you speak, what your religious beliefs are, whether you drink or you don't drink, it doesn't matter. People just come outside, enjoy the day, the environment, the atmosphere, the food, the, you know, and just have a great time. So it shows a different side of Palestine to Palestinians and to international people and to Israelis as well. Each year, up to 10,000 visitors flock to the Christian village for Oktoberfest. Most West Bank residents, meanwhile, are Muslim. Taiba Brewing Company also offers non-alcoholic beers suitable for anyone who doesn't drink for religious reasons. Oktoberfest, I like it. I think it's a mixed culture for coexistent purposes. I like that you can drink beer, have some fun around, you know. It's a change of mentality around here. We're not used to have alcohol festival. And this must be for all, all the world, Muslim, Christian, and Jewish, and Buddhism. Here we have no religion. We come here to, to feel great, to celebrate, to drink a beer, to have a nice time. 
Shahar Herz, who promotes beers, has come from Israel. He hopes that one day more of his compatriots will come to the West Bank for Oktoberfest. I think that the interest for good beer eventually will conquer uh, the fear of... Business is booming. And finally, Madis Khoury gets to enjoy her first brew of the day. She only has one wish left. For the future in general, uh, hopefully peace in Palestine. Cheers. The revelers are living it up. Once again, Taiba Oktoberfest is a huge success, presenting an unusual opportunity for everyone to come together and reach across divides.